I'm doing an Italian, <clears throat> Italian dish um, that my grandmother did many, many years. Let me fix my camera. Hang on, guys. All right. Let me see if I can fix this. Hold on. There we go. That's a little better. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I have, I don't even know how many cups of water. It's so about a half a pot of water. And I'm going to turn this up a notch to get it a little hotter. Now I'm going to put my noodles in. I have five eggs that I'm just going to break. All I'm going to do is just break the yolk. That's all I want to do is just break that yolk. Probably got some pepper stuck in there. All right, so that's all you need to do is five eggs and break the yolk. What I did here is I... um used about maybe a cup of olive oil and uh, gosh, probably about three heapings of garlic and oil um, that I had in the refrigerator and my fresh uh, parsley from my garden and salt and pepper. So what I'm gonna do with that, I'll show you in a second. My grandmother would toast her toast in the oven. So I don't, I just pop it in the toaster, it's easier. And then I'm going to toss it and make homemade croutons. I'll show you that in a second. So my grandmother would make um, the egg drop, Italian egg drop soup with um, no chicken stock. But I use a, at least a, t a level tablespoon to give it a little more flavor. I'll show you that in a second. Everyone's doing well. I'm going to turn my oven on because once I, I cook my croutons <clears throat> or baste them now that they're cold, um, what I did is um, I'm going to baste them and show you how I do that and how I cut them. And then I put them on my little cookie, cookie tray and uh, I'm going to stick them in the oven for a few minutes while everything else is cooking. So I'm gonna use one level, one level tablespoon of chicken stock. I don't need any more than that. Got like no space here. All right. So remember, I always tell you about warming up your ingredients together. The reason you want to do this is to make sure each piece has a little bit of the uh, flavor and subzuki. You want to do both sides. And then you can cut them and then you can um, toss them in in a big bowl. My father would put his croutons in the bottom of the bowl and um, pour his soup on top. That's how he ate his. This is probably a $3 meal. And it will feed your whole family. Oops. Once you get them all covered,
and pour the rest on. Give it a little toss. sheet. Spread them out. So you just want to um, make sure that the juice, the zuki that you had prepared, the olive oil and stuff, um, that it seeps in and you want them a little crispy. You want to bake them on 350 <clears throat> for probably I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, and then um, flip them. I'm going to take a uh, spatula and flip them. Back to my pasta. I'm going to use one pound of thin spaghetti. I'm going to break in three. a little toss that doesn't stick together. You don't have to add any salt to this because you got it all in the uh, the, the uh, croutons. And it's also in the chicken stock. When this is, um, when the pasta is done 99% of the way or 98% of the way, it's almost al dente, is when you're going to drop the eggs in. Once you drop the eggs in, you do, not, do not mix it. Let it boil. And this way they get real chunky and delicious. full pot of water um, so I probably have almost 50% almost when this is done and I had my eggs and one of my eggs form I'm gonna add a cup and a half of uh, grated Parmigiano, and um, and then I'll serve it, and then I'll put my croutons on top. So this the is the Italian version of egg drop soup, and again, three four dollars for this meal, if that. I always keep pasta in my house. I always keep my stocks, <clears throat> my uh, bouillons. I have all different flavors. I always keep them because you can always make a meal out of pasta and eggs um, to feed your family. You can add, um, just cook regular pasta and add any vegetable to it with some olive oil and some herbs. That's a meal for $3. Um, 
It feeds your family. That's that's your mission is to feed your family. So I could feel it. It's it's getting there. It's not done yet, but I could feel it. Try not to overcook your noodles because <clears throat> they get too mushy. Thank you everyone for wishing me a happy Mother's Day. It was nice. Frank and Frankie and I uh hung out all day. We did some gardening and um, we, uh, they had bought me beautiful flowers for my garden and, uh, I'm excited about them. Can't wait to plant them in, but Frank's got to do a little bit of irrigation work for me, um, to make sure they get water every day. So I'm going to drop my eggs in right now. Remember I used five. Just break the yolk and pour it in. Do not mix it at this point. Don't mix it. Let it cook. Check my toast. Let's give a little toss. So that's how we make our homemade croutons. <clears throat> you could use Italian bread too. French baguette, do it the same way, just cut them up. My husband loves these. They're real easy to make. So like I said, my grandmother, oops, I dropped one in. My grandmother would, um, put that in the sink. My grandmother would um, toast it in the oven. And um, I think the reason she did that is because back in those days, they didn't have a toaster that had like four different slots in it. You can see the eggs cooking. It's not there yet. But when the white starts forming up, then I know I can mix it, but I can't do it yet. You don't want to add the grated cheese to it while it's cooking because it will stick to the whole pot. The bottom of the pot, the side of the pot, it's a mess. So when it's done, completely done then you can take it off the heat and then you can add your grated cheese it's a real simple recipe and it's delicious like Carolyn always says right mm -mm. too funny thank you Carolyn for making that for me I love it Gently, gently. You don't want to break up that egg, egg white. It's getting there. Sorry for all the noise. So once my pressure cooker, um, it's it's reaching its to where it's boiled up enough heat and steam inside it's going to start cooking so it will it will boil it for one hour it's amazing it's just amazing i love it so 
I come in here and mix just a little bit. I want to make sure that egg's cooked and the noodles are done. You don't have to add any um, seasonings or anything to this because it's going to be in your crouton. You can hear my Instant Pot getting built up in heat over here. Do you see how the egg formed beautifully? If I mixed it too fast, it would be like um, really whisked egg, and I don't want that. some of that egg, grab a little more juice. I can get a pinch of grated cheese on top. I could put it on like that, or I could pour it in here like this. I'm gonna take it off the heat and pour it in. Take that off the heat. That's done. I'll take my croutons out. I'm gonna add a couple to the top. So that's our Italian egg drop soup. It's very good. You can eat it with a fork and a spoon. That's what we do. <laughs> so you see a grated cheese on top. And then your fresh croutons that you made. Bon appetit, everyone. Thank you.